in this race who set the collegiate record for NAU last year in the 5K, 1306 here. So they're out, and Charlie Hunter, the Australian for the Union Athletics Club, is in this race as well, kind of moving around to start, finding his position in that bright uniform. Kieran Lum is tucking in right here. That's Charlie Grice in the all-black singlet that is right behind Austin Miller, the pacer. Charlie Grice, a 330 athlete, not to be tussled with. Rob Heppenstahl, who was listed in the earlier 1500, is, is in this race here, wearing that 13 number on the outside. Now, this is Lum's first race in an OAC, or an on uniform. He was a former Washington Husky. And the pacer is Austin Miller, supposed to go through 850, in, uh, excuse me, 155. Um, about 57.5 is their goal for the first four. So 155, an honest pace, not incredibly spicy right now, but they're looking to ratchet it down potentially after that. We got Christian Noble in this race too in that New Balance uniform. But this is the Tin Man Austin Miller pacing this race up front, coming back after he raced earlier this evening. And Charlie Grice leading Kieran Lum, and then Hunter, and then Kincaid. So we'll see if Woody can close like he usually does. He, it seems like he's always got a 25, 26 second last 200 in his pocket. Can he do that off of a hotter pace in a 1500? And can he do it getting by Charlie Hunter there, a 334 athlete? So here we go, two laps to go. And they're letting Austin Miller go a little bit. Yeah, they're a little slow to start and then they slowed down a little bit further. They're about uh, 58 on that second lap when the target pace was 56. So 157 for Grice in the all black there through 800 meters. And now it looks like Noble trying to move up on the outside as you get a glimpse of Abdihamid Nur behind Charlie Hunter there and Hunter moving up. Everybody's trying to get into position here as there's some hands being put out, trying to get some space for themselves. Woody is a little boxed on the inside. When every time you have a slow start, it gets like this. There's a blanket of people. And once you hit about 500 to go, people aren't scared to start putting it out there anymore. And they all want to battle for that front position, uh, either on the rail or on the shoulder. Inside a lap to go here. They reach the bell. And it is Grice and Noble out front, and then Kincaid and Lum behind them. Grice doing what he can to hold off Noble on the turn. Smart tactics for him there. So 242 at the bell. We'll see what they can get. Grice still not giving up that inside lane. He's still at the front. Woody Kincaid tucked inside. Can he move around? Does he have space? But here comes Heppenstahl. Rob Heppenstahl, the Canadian Moves to the front strong, and is rolling. <laughs> strong move on the back stretch to put about 10 meters more on the field, about 10 meters ish on, of, on the field around that turn. And here comes Woody Kincaid on the inside, but can he catch Rob Heppenstall? I don't think so. This is Rob Heppenstall Close. coming to the finish here. And is that a finger to the <laughs> lips shushing the crowd? <laughs> Heppenstall. 336.97, a great win here in the on-running men's 1500 meters with Woody Kincaid sneaking up on the inside, 337.3, Festus Legat, 337.57, and Henry Wynn there for the Brooks Beasts in fourth. A good finish for him, 338.07, early in the season. Heppenstall with a 54.2 last lap, Kincaid with a 54.8. Uh, Lots of, uh, uh, let's see, Festus Legat 54.7. The, those were the three 